Hey guys, what is up? Mr. Sackler here. So I have an idea of how to use the Apple Pencil in PowerPoint to do something different. So let's get started. So my idea is what can you use the PowerPoint version of the iPad better with than the desktop version? And the idea is, well, you can use the drawing tools to make images come alive. So how you do this is you are going to go get a new slide. So we're gonna add a new slide over here. And first thing is we need an image. So we're gonna go over to the internet. We're gonna go over to unsplash.com. We can either use the app if you have it downloaded also. And we're simply gonna search for a nice high resolution photo. So maybe I search for mountains. We want some sort of beautiful mountain image over here. And if we over here like this image, let's take this image over here. We can either download this image for free or we can just copy the image. So I'm gonna in this case just copy or I'm gonna hold the image down and I'm going to then add this to my photos. I could have also just hit copy, but I'm gonna go over to PowerPoint now and I'm gonna go over to insert photos and you can see my nice selfie over there where I was playing around with PowerPoint and I'm gonna insert this image over here. So what I'm gonna do with this image is I am going to well, firstly, notice over here, the designer comes up. And I think the designer does a pretty decent job at the top right over here, where I think that this could be a kind of cool way to, to write on a slide, but that would be using the iPad's formatting of it. So instead of doing that, we are going to use the picture itself. First, we need to get this picture to be our whole background. So what we're gonna do is if we tap the photo over here and we are going to drag this down to the corner, something you may notice is that it is not big enough. We don't get it over the whole side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit under the picture. Notice that if I was in the home tab, I'd click on the picture tab at the top. I would click on crop over here and we're gonna set it to 16 to nine, which is PowerPoint's um, format over here where if you were to drag it, it would fit perfectly to the to the um, corner. So I'm gonna then select what part of the image I want. I'm gonna, I'd rather get less of the clouds and more of the green down here. So I'm gonna select down here and I'm gonna tap off the photo so that it crops it. I'm then gonna tap it, I'm gonna bring it up to the top left and I can now perfectly drag it to the bottom right. Somehow that's satisfying. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we are going to simply go over to the draw tab and we are gonna go over to the, um, the tools, if you don't have one, you can add a, a pen tool and I'm gonna set this pen color to be white. The reason I'm gonna set it to white is it's almost gonna work like an eraser where if I'm trying to create a PowerPoint slide right now on contrast, maybe I decide over here, I'm going to write the word contrast. But if there's one thing that I've taught you guys, it's that you don't want a title to be in skinny letters. Now you can't get rid of like the default font because it's your own handwriting. So you may have to play around with this a little bit. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the font size over to be a real large uh, paintbrush over here, or at least pencil, and I'm gonna write again the word contrast. Maybe in kind of fun block letters. So contrast. And if you're like me and you didn't give yourself enough room, take that lasso select tool and you can move that wherever you want. Now, what you might notice right now is that your words don't quite stand out that much. So in order to make them stand out, we're gonna have to make our own border by using the black pen tool and make sure you, you, know, you choose the thickness that you want. You can do thinner or thicker. I'm just gonna do a nice thin one and I'm going to try and draw around the letters. And in drawing around the letters over here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna start making my word contrast really start to pop out. If you want it thicker, you can always do it thicker. This is just me kind of showcasing an idea of how you can use the Apple Pencil to make a slide so very different than what the normal is. And I think the issue is with the PowerPoint slides, the pre-configured formats that everyone uses, that's, that is the issue. It's like you've seen it before and it's no longer fresh. And even though it may have a decent design and have good lettering, and it might be kind of fun, the issue is that you know, we get tired humans of things that we've already seen before. We want something fresh, some new idea, which is why we're constantly looking for you know, new things, whether that's a hobby or that's a you know, food. We just like change. And what you can see over here, at least you should be able to start seeing, is as I stall and I talk and I try and get you guys, I'm getting a little sloppier here, but you should start seeing that this word really does, with that picture, pop out. And if your job is to showcase contrast over here and then you want to type a message below that contrast is about 
Let's make that a thinner font using colors. And let's align this using, let's maybe do something to stand out a little more, color. Oops, that's black, I meant to do white. To make something stand out. And as I make this slide, keep in mind that what I'm trying to do a little bit is I'm trying to keep this nice line on the left-hand side. I also think that it, this is going to look a little nicer if I give a little bit more space between the two. So I'm going to maybe um, make this aligned to the end so that there's that line on the right-hand side. And if any of these are you know hard to see, maybe I need to go over it with a slightly bigger um, tool over here so that the proximity is good enough. Um, I think that that brush might be a little better. But the idea is I didn't want it to overpower my title. Maybe I make the title even bigger, you know, make the, the erase bigger. But you can kind of really play around with this. And I think it's a really cool way to use PowerPoint to make your message stand out. And I think this is certainly a cooler way to portray a message than simply to do the same thing that you're taught in every single class. You know, I was doing it, for example, in the beginning slide over here, you know, some sort of outer space backgrounds. But play around with it, see what you guys like. Hopefully you like this idea of using the draw tools with Apple Pencil to uh, make your ideas stand out.